Daisy Caballero has been following the story for us and Daisy Lopez had a warrant out for his arrest out of Coos County. Yes, and that's because he had been arrested a week ago for threatening two men with weapons down in North Bend on the coast. He was charged and then released, but skipped out on his court appearance. Lopez then made his way to Portland and is now arrested for murder. You know, I think everybody's kind of still reeling and trying to process what happened. The Portland taxi cab community is on edge after a longtime radio cab driver was stabbed to death this weekend after picking up a passenger in southeast Portland. It's getting rougher and rougher out there driving around. That's where police say that only 30-year-old Moses Lopez was arrested on murder charges shortly after the stabbing. I mean, it's, it's always surprising, but it's not unheard of. I mean... It's been a long time since this kind of thing has happened to this extent, though, where someone actually passed away. According to court documents, Lopez already had a warrant out for his arrest from Coos County for threatening two men with weapons last Monday. He was charged and released, but never showed up for his Thursday court appearance, ultimately making his way to Portland. Um, I think drivers are going to be far more aware of who's in their back seat and what's going on because this absolutely came out of nowhere. It was completely unprovoked. He never saw it coming. Darren Campbell is a former cab driver, but now serves as the director of marketing for Radio Cab. He tells me the security camera inside of the taxi captured the entire gruesome attack. It, it did not leave anything out. Uh, and as disturbing as it was, to watch it's it's amazing evidence. Campbell is hoping for more police enforcement and mental health resources moving forward. The driver's name has not yet been released until his family is notified, but was described as kind and extremely hardworking, who has been driving with radio cab for over a decade. Lopez is now facing two charges, second degree murder and unlawful use of a weapon. Now, police so far aren't saying what led up to the stabbing. This unfortunately marks the city's 22nd homicide so far this year. And I'm told that the driver had recently found his biological parents and was making plans to meet them in person for the very first time. David.